This is just a quick video to show just some of the enhancements in the interface in Gibbs Cam 12. You can see there's now really nice, bright, easy to read icons with some descriptions underneath them. These are all the same functions that you had in previous versions of Gibbs Cam, just a little bit nicer and more easily accessible. And I'm gonna go through making a really quick toolpath to show you how we've enhanced the user experience with this new interface. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. So I'm gonna open up my tools. We can see that it's right here. And then both of my cam palettes. I can open those up one at a time if I'd like, but I'm just gonna go ahead and just open them up both at the same time. Once I do that, you can see that something that's a little different is there's no more machining palette here like there used to be. I need to pick, I wanna do a quick, let me go ahead and show geometry here. I just want to do a quick pocket right here. How do I do a contour? We've made it really easy. All we do is we double click right down in the tile list. So here are all the processes I have available to me. I'm going to go ahead and hit contour. And as I do that, here's another enhancement that we've done. The tools that I have available pop right up. Not only do the tools pop up, but they categorize them into tools that make sense for what I'm doing. For instance, I'm going to do a 2D contour. Here are the two tools that I have in my tool list that make sense to use. Whereas down here, I probably won't use this boring head or the countersink to do a pocket. So I'm just going to go ahead and pick the 375. And I'm going to go ahead and pick the geometry. So now there's a couple things here that we have uh, worked on. Uh, first off is the do it and redo it buttons. You can see right here, here's my do it button. I can click that. And you can see, let me zoom in here. You can see that it does it. Or I can have the do it button right up here in my process window. What I wanted to show too, talking about accessibility, was as I get older, and I'm a pretty experienced Gibbs Cam user, my eyes are getting a little bit weaker, it's kind of hard to target these little markers. So what we've done is we've given you the ability in our preferences to actually change the size of those. Let me move this out of the way so we can see it. Medium, large, or for those that are really need the help, we can make them extra large, and we can go ahead and just move these around. It just makes it a lot easier to navigate through. And this goes for the turning also. Go ahead and change that back to medium. And I'm just gonna go ahead and re-click that and click OK. Let's say I wanted to change this tool path. This is another really great example of being able to use the new do it and redo button locations. So I'm gonna change this. I actually want this to start at, we'll say five. And I'm gonna go ahead and hit redo. There it is up there. I'm gonna look at it, you know what? I actually, I want it to start at four, say 4.5. Now, for those of you that might select your geometry after you do your settings, instead of having to go back and forth and back and forth, I can pick the geometry. I can right click anywhere on my screen and hit redo. And see, we can see that it's on the wrong side. So I can just go right here, hit redo, and then there it is. That makes it a lot easier to select the do it and redo it buttons. When we were updating the interface, we really wanted to keep that same Gibbs Cam look and feel that everyone's grown accustomed to. And to be honest with you, we know that it works. But that being said, even though we tried to keep all of the same icons and language and things like that, there may be some functionality that you know you may find hard to find. For instance, if you use, I don't know, maybe a plugin that not a lot of people use and you don't know where it is, here are all the plugins. But then you got to go through, oh, geez, where is it? We can just come here. We've actually enhanced our search function. So let's say we wanted to do a geo edit. All I do is start typing. So I can click on it and it'll pull up the window. Or if I want to see where it is, let's say a geo edit offset. I can click here and hit show me and we can see that it's and that it highlights it in the in the menu. Let's go ahead. It opens up the menu and highlights it. Let's do that again so you can see it. We're going to do geo edit split this time. So we can see that it highlights it right inside of the menu. And this goes for just about every function in Gibbs Cam. So let's say contour trace, for instance. There it is, a contour trace. Or duplicate. Say duplicate absolute. So this isn't just for plugins. This is for anything that you may have a hard time finding and it'll show it to you. Or again, you can say duplicate and actually just click on it and it'll open up the window for you. That was just a really quick overview of the interface enhancements inside of Gibbs Cam 12. If you have any questions about the new interface or Gibbs Cam in general, please reach out to your local reseller. 
or visit us at our website, 3dsystems.com. Thank you.